Tracking attention now, sports for the disabled. The 2026 Asian Games and Asian Para Games will be held in Nagoya and surrounding areas of Aichi Prefecture. To help maximize the number of people who will enjoy these games, we'll tell you about sports for the disabled in this video. Hello, everybody! We are here today at the Nagoya City Sports Center for the Disabled. Today, we will introduce wheelchair tennis and some other sports for the disabled. Sports for the disabled are modified versions of conventional sports. Classifications and modifications of the standard rules are made based on the type and degree of disability, so that these sports can also be enjoyed by disabled people. There are such games as Baccia, original games and sports developed for the disabled, as well as games and sports which both those with disabilities and those without can play together. <laughs> Wheelchair tennis players Hiroshi Toma and Takahiro Hirate are here today. How are the rules of ordinary tennis and wheelchair tennis different? The size of the court, height of the net, the height the ball reaches, things like that are the same. The main difference is that the ball can be returned after two bounces on the court rather than just one. As for classes, there are the men's class and women's class as well as a forward class for those with severe disabilities. What's hard about chasing a ball in a wheelchair? You can't move side to side in a wheelchair. So to come up to the ball, you have to push the chair a lot. That's hard. Thank you. So now we'll try wheelchair tennis. Okay, so get in the chair and try going around the cones. Oh, good job. So let's try hitting the ball now. First a forehand stroke. Okay. Next a backhand shot. Okay, good. Forehand, backhand, you don't know where the ball is going to land, so you have to stay on the move all the time to be there to hit it. Wheelchair tennis is impressive in every area, power, speed, and technique. The players utilize their individual strengths to structure the flow of the game while playing. They say it's a sport that anybody can win at, regardless of their age or physique. What is the charm of wheelchair tennis? We can also look forward to being able to interact with players from other parts of the country and even overseas when we take part in matches. And we can play it with those who don't have any disabilities. That's also a fun thing about it. Today we'd experience firsthand how those with disabilities deal with the limitations on their movement and heard their thoughts on the same. We also tried our hand at some of those sports. Sports and games for the disabled come in a number of different types and categories based on the type and severity of disability. The 2026 Asian Para Games are scheduled to be held in Nagoya and surrounding areas of Aichi Prefecture. What can you say about the games? We hope that the 2026 Asian Para Games being held in Nagoya and surrounding areas of Aichi Prefecture will give as many people as possible a chance to learn about sports for the disabled. To improve the public's understanding of sports for the disabled, there is an informational booklet entitled I'm Possible. Please take a look at it. I'm Possible is an official educational resource prepared by the International Paralympics Committee for the purpose of informing people about sports for the disabled. It is up on the Japan Paralympics Committee website, so you can view it there anytime. The resource is easy to understand and contains fun quizzes as well, so even elementary school kids can have fun learning about para sports. Take a look at it sometime, everybody. 
Today, we learn more about sports and games for disabled using the resource I'm possible. The next Asian Paral Games are scheduled for our part of Japan, so we should support Paral Sports. Come on, everybody! Let's support Paral Sports! <laughs>